Hi, this is Jason, Chief Technical Analyst with Toro Alerts, and we're going to do a quick sector review on the week after another uh, broad week of selling in the markets. Uh, see if we can identify some of the um, best performing sectors on the week and also identify some of the worst performing sectors uh, for the week. And in our leaderboard, we're seeing biotech with almost a 1% gain on the week. That's the only sector we're tracking that's actually in the positive. Uh, and when I took a look at the chart on that one, it looks like it is trying to form a potential double bottom, which is also coinciding with the COVID crash lows. Uh, so biotech tech has really been beat up this year uh, and it's uh, starting to show some relative uh, performance in the market so we'll keep a close eye on that one in the coming weeks. Uh, still not something I'm looking to put any trades on quite yet but uh, definitely have my eye on this one closely and if we continue to see some relative outperformance in biotech uh, could be looking for some potential trades maybe uh, in the coming weeks so we'll keep a close eye on that one. Uh, the second place on the week is actually down 0.2% but uh, based on the week we've had that's uh, definitely a relative outperformance across the sectors, uh, and that's Global Lithium. Uh, lithium's continued to be a, a strong outperformer uh, for most of the year, and so it's looking like it's holding up pretty well, even though it did sell off slightly. And we also saw uh, silver and gold in the top five sectors as far as uh, our performance uh, still down a bit. Silver's down 1%, gold's down 2%, uh, but most everything else is down anywhere from 3 to 20%. And so uh, those are also uh, some separate leaders on the week, even though they're uh, in the red. And then uh, the, the biggest sell-offs this week have definitely been in the energy space. Energy has been the strong outperformer on the year. Uh, it's about the only sector we've made consistent money on uh, in 2022. Uh, but this week, it was definitely not the case. We saw a massive sell-off. XLE, uh, the broad sector energy uh, ETF, is down over 17%. We saw NAT gas down over 20%. And the oil and gas ex explorers XOP is down over 20% as well. So energy just getting hammered. Uh, I'm looking at uh, specifically on some of these ETFs like the XLE and the XOP for uh, a drawdown potentially to the 200-day moving average, and then looking for that as a possible entry. I still think energy uh, has some uh, upside further going into the rest of this year, um, but it looks like we are getting a bit of a correction right now in energy. So not a good place to be at the moment but there could be a really nice dip buying opportunity in the energy space that i'll be keeping my eye out and looking for that 200 uh, 200 day moving average bounce potentially if that uh, uh, happens and then also some of the other sectors that have uh, really struggled this week we saw home builders down uh, over 11 percent uh, metals and binding down over 10 percent and then also seeing uh, sectors like steel utilities and the arc uh, fintech sector down uh, over nine percent so uh, tough week out there across the board, uh, but we are seeing some interesting developments, uh, like I said, in the biotech space, and uh, we'll be keeping an eye on um, these sector reviews to look for some tactical trades as we continue the bear market uh, further south. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to download Toro Alerts app on the App Store, and we'll see you next time.